Home from Monday. The possibility of the world we know, born and maintained through constant mutual agreement, came to me during the montage of moving world images seen through the train window, the left side of today. Morning sun not as bright as the welder's arc light, seen briefly on the curve, part of the plan of the new, this welder hanging in the sun. There's no room for discovery in a world contained only within what we control. Language must contain both the verb and the noun, or does that too derive only from convenience? The many different names for snow are still nouns, or the third sex, living in Thailand, so certain friends have told me, exist there, away from me, but called to question on the same morning, when I can now see properly dressed friends I have yet to meet, holding hot coffee as they walk into their day's commitment, or is it obligation after all, this attachment to what is for them? Just as the welder attaches parts of a future with controlled blinding light, his deep attention to this detail making it hard but not impossible to imagine me watching or you watching him. A point of singular infinity as the train speeds by, so I piece together a continuity between day and day and day. My part of the necessary continuing agreement, as binding in its way as what the welder joins, with arc light brighter even than the morning sun.